Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is John again from Volkswagen Planet. This is our first video of 2019. I want to say Happy New Year to those. If I haven't said Happy New Year to you already, hope your new year is going great. Been getting quite a few comments about what's been going on with the 1974 Beetle that I bought for 350 bucks. If you want to check back in my other older videos, you can see uh, a little bit more information about that. Again, this is a 1974. It's a standard Beetle, if you notice. It's got the just the regular shock and not the strut to make it a super beetle. So we know it is a regular beetle. And uh, I just want to let you guys or take you guys on a quick little walk around of this car to show you why and why or to show you about the car and why I'm not doing anything with it. This is the rear end. Doesn't really look out of whack, but when I go to the back here you will see a completely different story. Back here, if you notice that there is no um, swing axle, no IRS, nothing to attach itself onto like a frame. So this thing was cut from the basically the um, rear seats back on the frame. It was clipped for to be used as a trike. And it has all the original stuff. I'm probably going to use this piece right here for the Super Beetle because I need that piece for the auto stick in the last video like I talked about. This was an AC car. You can tell by those holes right there. Still has the original diagnostic uh, plug-in. If anybody has any uh, computer software, or not software, but um, the actual plug-in tools that were used back in Volkswagen uh, days, let me know. I'm willing to buy. I'm willing to pay shipping as long as you guys take care of me on a fair price. I'll be more than happy to do some videos about that in the future, but I got to get my hands on the tools first. But back to the car. Um, on some aspects of this car, it's really, really solid, which I understand why they did this because the guys who did this really didn't care. They had like five or ten Harley Davidson, you know, front ends with uh, the Volkswagen rear ends, the single port, the dual port. They were just looking for the the, the uh, rear suspension and the motor. The guy spent 300 bucks for this. Didn't really give a damn. Um, it is shot. I guess it had some kind of uh, canvas top on it. It does have a sunroof, which you know I was thinking about taking the clip in the top, but we'll see as time goes on. But this is what I really wanted to show you guys, and why I really don't want, or it's really beyond repair. I know some of you guys out there, and um, basically you, Glenn, I know you'd say, oh, this is savable. You know, it's just a couple pieces of metal. But this is what I was talking about, guys. This is where it was clipped. That is the ground you're seeing, you know. That's underneath. Basically where the, the rear package tray would come down, it's gone. There is nothing here. Like I said, it was, it was clipped right here all the way back for the engine. The swing, the whole swing axle was for the uh, rear of the trike. Um, all the sunroof mechanism is still there. It's got a little bad spot on the outside. I said it has all the interior still. Let's see you focus a little bit better here. But like I said guys, there is nothing to this car whatsoever. I've been stripping the pieces off, you know, the, the strikers, some of the door hardware has been really good. But again, there is nothing here. I mean, it's, it's just, it's all trash or severely rusted out and it's not worth saving. I do have a couple ideas what I may do with this car, but uh, I don't want to ruin that because to the best of my knowledge, I haven't yet to see anybody do what I'm thinking about doing, but I'm just not in the position right now to actually uh, to do the job and what I, I want to do. Um, I do have a question. Let's see if I can find them. Those bolts right there. Let's see if I can focus in a little bit better here. Bear with me just a second, guys. Those two bolts right there. It's right there where the uh, Napoleon hat would, would clip on or attach itself to the um, uh, floorboards. I have tried everything in my power to get those things off except for take a torch. If you have any ideas, comments, or suggestions, leave them below in the, in the uh, comment box. I would greatly appreciate it. 
But again, look at the underneath of this car. All the cancer, all the damage. I guess if you wanted to um, restore this, you possibly could. But again, you know, it's some pieces are really, really clean. But I just for down here, you can buy a lot better specimens for you know a lot, a lot cheaper than it would take to um, save the car. It does still have the VIN plate. The inside, the front, the front clip is really solid. But unfortunately, the back clip is gone. It, when's the last time you've seen a charcoal canister cover? There's a charcoal canister behind there. It's been a really long time since I've ever seen one of those. But it still has the spaghetti uh, wiring. I'm so, unfortunately, it's just, it's just too far gone. Stuff like this, I've taken pictures of like that to um, when I do a high dollar restoration in the future or even just to um, pass the information on, you know, the stickers and location, stuff like that. So um, that's really all these cars are really good for. There's a, the sunroof. I don't know what this, I guess this was tree sap that just basically has been destroying the metal, but there's, there's the bad spot of the roof. It's not really, it's just, there is one little spot, but basically it's all surface couple little spots over here but it's nothing structural nothing yet but again guys uh, it does have the pop-outs which are really nice Ugh. Ugh. but again I said it's just it's just a parts car it's just uh, I mean it's, it's been really helpful for me in a lot of ways but it just doesn't make sense to try to put this thing back together like I said it still has the the stickers you know the the vins Let's see here. Uh, uh, January 1974. So that's what? Uh, 40, 45 years old now? 45 year old car. It's just, uh, it's just done. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. It still has the original steering wheel. There are some good uh, OES parts still. OEM parts, NOS parts uh, on this. But again, guys, it just doesn't make sense to fix something like this when there's a lot better cars out there to start with. I have an idea of what I'm still thinking about doing with this. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet, but if you can guess what I'm thinking about doing, comment below, thumbs up, thumbs down, like, subscribe. I want to say thank you to all those guys out there, all the new subscribers. I've been... Um, Basically, want a thing that this account was going to collapse and, and uh, go down, but you guys have really surprised me by the the subscriber count going here and up by a couple here, up a couple there, down a couple, but it seems to be going up. So that gives me the ambition to keep making videos. Um, now that the weather's a little bit better out here in Florida, it's time to hit the garage again. The holidays are over, no excuses. I'm feeling pretty good. So it's time to grab a wrench, start making some videos, get these cars back in the road, make better videos, better content. Lucy says hi. Lucy says we got to go. You guys have a good one. Again, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, like, share, yada, yada, yada. Thumbs down, leave a comment below what you don't like. Don't be a coward. You guys have a good day. We'll catch you on the next video. Again, this is a 1974 Super Beetle. 350 bucks. If you guys need parts, let me know. We uh, can work something out. You guys have a good day. God bless you and uh, God bless your family.